morning, everybody. Hello, and welcome to Coffee and a Card with Tiffany Almeida. Um, I have uh, some really exciting things to share with you today, and I love my projects today. I love the Cup of Christmas, which is the bundle we're going to be using today, so I can't wait to show you guys those um, cute projects we're going to make. Let's go ahead and change the view here so you guys can see what we're going to be making today. Can you guys see this cup of Christmas bundle? And I'll zoom in a little bit here too so you guys can see better, but this is the cup of Christmas bundle. It has these reversible images. And when I say reversible, I'll show you when I get the stamps out that you can stamp these in different directions. And then the dies, the dies, it cuts out the cup in both directions. So it doesn't matter which way you stamp it, you can cut it out with either direction. So that's a really cool, and that's brand spanking new. This is the first stamp set that Stampin' Up! has done that with. Um, so the Cup of Christmas. So these, that's why they have these images reversed, is because you can stamp these images in either direction. <clears throat> For today's projects, I have three, which are super, super, super cute. I absolutely love them. I'm going to zoom in a little bit here so you guys can see it. How's that? I love that I'm able to zoom. Okay, so I have my cute, adorable little snowman here. He is in a little cup jacuzzi, we decided, a hot cocoa jacuzzi. And then we have this brownie slider. How cool is that? This is actually going to be, well, actually, I'm not even going to say. But anyways, I cased this from um, Dawn Stampin' Thoughts. Dot net. She had this cute idea. Um, she used different colors and a little different layout, but same concept. So I thank her for this fabulous idea. I absolutely love this. And I used the um, Mug Cakes, um, Dunkin' Dines brand from Walmart. I just bought a box of those. And then this adorable little thing. This is um, a K-cup holder. So inside you can see there's um, two circles, and that's to put your K-cups in. And I made this really cute and simple tag um, out of the cup, the cup of Christmas. And um, so I'm going to show you how to make this. This is super, super simple to make. Um, this, I got the um, layout and template from the Jolly Fat Elf. And there's a link on my um, blog post for her video if you want to see her video. Let's go ahead and make the um, cute little K-cup holder. It's actually surprisingly simple and um, doesn't require too much thinking. Now, this one, okay, so here's the thing. It requires a 12 by 12 piece of real red or 12 by 12 piece of something. Um, so I bought a package of the Regals 12 by 12 and it had two sheets of the real red. So I used up both sheets of the real red. So now I'm moving on to shaded spruce, which is okay because um, the Shaded Spruce is part of this Let It Snow Designer Series paper, and this little line is the Shaded Spruce Green. So I think it will work out, and I think it's okay. I've already held this up to it, and I'm like, oh yeah, that'll work. It's kind of cute. So we're going to use Shaded Spruce for this. So you need a piece of 12 by 12 Designer Series paper. You're going to cut it to 12 by 7 and a half. And on the short side, you're going to score at 1 and a half on both sides. So score at one and a half and then turn it, score at one and a half. Now on the long side, you're going to score at four and seven eighths on one side and then turn it and score at four and seven eighths on the other side. Does that make sense? And then you're going to burnish those really well. So this is going to be the outside of the bag and you're going to be surprised at how simple this is. And I took this tutorial from, um, the Jolly Fat Elf, and again, the link is on my um, blog post for her video. And I made a couple modifications, well, just really one modification that makes it a little bit easier for me. So the first thing that we're going to do is we have to take and cut, right? So here's the score line. We have to cut next to it because we're going to create this like little invisible tab right there and right there. And then we can cut this, the rest of this edge off on this just cut on the score line all the way down and I am going to cut this way since it's a little bit easier for me okay 
So like that, and then we'll go over here and do it on this edge. And we have to repeat it on the other side. Okay, so again, on this side, we're just eyeballing. Again, it doesn't have to be exact, but you just want to create yourself a little tab on both sides of that score line. And then we're going to cut off the rest here. I think this is a cute way to package um, K-Cups, what an adorable little bag. And I'll show you how I made a tag from that um, the cup. It's really simple and you guys probably all know how to do it, but I'll just show you anyway. Now, I cut up these two score lines here and you're going to, that's going to create these tabs. But now you, what you want to do is just miter just on this side a little bit. Like that. So that it lines up and fits a little bit better. So we'll cut up this side. <clears throat> and this side and then miter. Ooh, that was a big miter. <laughs> So there we go. Now we can throw all these scraps away. So this is our box and we're going to leave it flat because we're going to do some rounding of the corners and we're going to glue our designer series paper on. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to take my trio, my detailed trio punch um, and then just round these corners here. Well good for you for doing a, a, a swap. Good job. An organized swap. Those are fun too because then you know what kind of quality you're going to get. Hopefully you have a good organizer with lots of good strict rules. Okay, so I have gone ahead and rounded both ends. And then we're going to take these, uh, we have um, two pieces of designer series paper that measure four and a quarter. Let's see, let me make sure. Four and a quarter by four and three quarters. So I have two of them. And I'm going to, and this is that let it snow paper. Look how pretty the other side is. Ooh, that might be... <gasps> Should we do this side? Let's do this side. Let's let's be rebels and do this side. That'll be fun. So we're just gonna round two sides. And now I have to, with this, it's, since it's directional, I have to um, know which direction I'm going. So, because I want my trees to be facing upward, they've gotta be that way. I don't even know how to use words, so I'm just gonna have to bear with me here. So punch the top pieces that we're gonna go up and punch the bottom pieces. We're gonna go this way so we can glue those on. You also need two pieces, two more pieces, and these ones are cut in the wrong direction. So maybe I'll do stripes for those. Um, these two pieces need to measure uh, two inches by one and three eight inches. And you don't have to remember these measurements. Remember, um, they're all over on my blog post. So I'm just going to put some adhesive on the back of this. And I always like to use liquid glue um, because I feel like I have a little bit of time to kind of wiggle it around and make sure it fits and it's lined up. Okay. And same on this side. like so okay and then let's go ahead and do the side pieces and I'm just gonna do them stripes only because I don't like the trees going sideways on the sides <laughs> if I had intended to use the trees um, I would have cut a little bit differently but that's okay I don't mind the stri side being striped it's going to be a strange looking bag huh guys <laughs> Okay, so now that we've got that, let's go ahead and put together our um, box. We can do that. We can put our outside box together. So we're going to put some, some adhesive. I'm just going to do tear and tape. A couple pieces on all of these little tabs. And notice how I'm doing the outsides of the tabs because we're going to glue them to the inside of the sides. And notice how easy tear and tape tears. You don't have to cut it, guys. I'm going to use my pick a tool. 
or my piercer, I'm sorry, my pierced, piercing tool and peel off the backing. We'll do one at a time just because we don't want sticky stuff everywhere. So you just line up, see you're gonna tuck it inside and oh no I'm so sorry there's no Mary Merlot that should be an emergency that should be in a crisis crisis mode what's your second favorite do you have a backup for Mary Merlot so there we go we're gonna just glue that in And glue that in. And last but not least, we're going to glue this in. And don't forget to hit that share button, you guys. Hopefully you have already done that, but you'll be entered to win my free gift this week. And if you want today's projects that I'm making, I can cut and prep everything for you. And you guys can, it can be mailed directly to your house for free if you place a $30 order with me this week. And I have the code for that. And I'll show that to you guys here in a little bit. All right, this next piece that you need, this is again that shaded spruce. I cut this piece at seven and three eighths by five and an eighth. And then you score all four sides at one and a half. Okay, and then we're just going to um, cut up the sides here and just miter. And you're going to do that on the other side as well. Just cut up the side. And cut up the side. Okay. So there's those. Now, before we actually can go on and cut these, we actually, or glue it together, we actually need to cut out um, some circles. And I don't remember which size it is. I think it's this one. Yep, it's this one. So this is the one, two, it's the fourth largest, or the fourth smallest, I guess, fourth from the smallest circle. And you're just gonna cut out two of those in your big shot. And those will be where the K-cups are held. So let's go ahead and get the big shot here. Now, um, before I put the big shot away, there is one more thing I need to cut out. And that, well, two more things, actually. And that is this pretty uh, glimmery um, outside of the cup and then the cup itself. So to do that, I have a piece of real red glimmer paper. And I'm going to cut that beautiful design. Which is this one here. Okay. Save the circles. Yes, yeah, save the circles. Don't throw those away. And then you're going to have the cup. And it doesn't matter which cup you want, but I want the handle to be on the left side. So that's why I chose that one. Now I have a piece of Whisper White and what I'm going to do is I'm going to score the piece of Whisper White. So I'm going to do that right now off camera here. I'm just scoring it so that I have enough room on both sides to fit the cup. And what you want to do is you want to put your cup on the plate but leave the top outside of the fold so that it doesn't cut the cup out completely. It leaves the crease at the top. Does that make sense? So we've got the crease and I'm just got, and you can also use washi tape to hold it down if you need to. I'm just gonna move it where the magnet likes it. There we go. Oops. I've decided that the magnet's the boss and I've gotta move wherever the magnet tells me to. <laughs> Life has been so much happier since I've done that. Not tried to force it. Okay, so then we've got our cup and our real, real red, and I'll show you that here in a second. 
<clears throat> I put my layering circle away. Okay, so we have the cup and you can see here it punched everything out in both layers and it left the seam in the center. So that's good. So we did that. And then we have this really cute real red glimmer and we need our piercing tool to kind of poke poke that out. Look how cool that is. So we're going to glue that to the front here. So let me go ahead and <laughs> I'll poke out all those little gold pieces or glimmer pieces out later. You guys don't have to watch me do that. Okay. So super cute, right? And pretty easy. So now that we've got this cut out, we can go ahead and glue this. So let's go ahead and get our tear and tape. measure and mark it but I'm just going to slide it down here now my other one I punched too low if you can see I don't like how low that is on the handle so on this one I'm going to punch a little bit higher I'm just kind of eyeballing it just going to go right about here I think okay so there's that handle and then I'll go on the other side and again just eyeball it and try to do the best I can. And punch it out. So now I have the two handles. Okay. So now that we've done that, let's go ahead <clears throat> and glue these down. And then we're gonna slide that in the center. It just slides right in. Look how it fits in there perfectly. Okay, so there's that. And then let's go ahead and we're gonna stamp Merry Christmas on the inside. So there's a little Merry Christmas in the stamp set. I have it here on a block and I'm gonna stamp it on the inside with real red ink. So Merry Christmas. And then I'm going to need the hole punch and the baker's twine real quick. And we're going to glue this to the back of it. So we're just going to get some liquid glue. You can also use fine tip glue. And you're just going to glue. Just be really careful and don't put a lot. And glue it to the front. Oh yeah, that would be cute to tie in a little peppermint stick if you're going to do hot cocoa. So I just hole punch the corner there so it opens still. Everything's good. I use the retired 1 8 inch hole punch. I love that little hole punch. I use it so much. And I use Baker's Twine to string through. This is the Whisper White Baker's Twine to string through. And then um, I use the... Where'd it go? Oh, I think I put it away. <clears throat> Maybe I didn't. Where did it go? Oh, there it is. <clears throat> Sorry, clear my throat. I have the real red curly ribbon and I'm going to tie a bow around here and tie a bow. I can just cut off the edge. All right, so then we can take our little baker's twine and loop it through like that and then what I do is I just take both ends I just wanted to make sure it's laying flat I take both ends and I just tie a knot like so 
trim off the excess. And voila, you have an adorable tag hanging down. So <laughs> these are the two. One is the Christmas trees and one is the stripes. Oops, turn around, buddy. Don't be camera shy. So there you go. Adorable, right? And I love this as a fun way to give those K-cups. How cool is that? So that is project number two. Hopefully you guys like that one. I really like that one. So thank you to the Jolly Fat Elf for that tutorial because that was really cute. Thank you guys again so much. You guys have been absolutely fabulous. Thank you guys so much for coming. I am going to go off and have a blast at on stage, and then I will come back with so many fun things to share with you guys. Thank you so much. Hugs. Be safe. And we'll see you in two weeks. Bye.